Hi, welcome to Coffee Break with Ron. Here are the highlights for this week's sharing. According to a headlines news published by Straits Times, our property investment sales have fallen by 37% so far in quarter 1 of 2020 as a direct result from the fallout of COVID-19 hitting Singapore. Now, at this point of time, sellers are still holding out with hope that maybe, just maybe, a swift recovery is in sight and after the pandemic is being contained, things will get back to normal. Similarly, buyers are also in the Mexican standoff with sellers and they are waiting in glee for prices to fall before they can come into the market. But on 21st April, that's Tuesday this week, we got this news from PMD. That's four weeks. Panic and pandemonium happening as people are fighting with KFC, Burger King, and even bubble tea service staff. Panic. Yeah, that's the word. We are living in a time where neither us nor our parents have ever faced before. And who knows, maybe this might give us PTSD in the future. Now, already 17,000 property owners have actually applied with their respective banks to get a deferment to their mortgage loans. And many of these people have been directly affected by the pandemic, mainly due to possible job losses, fear of the market going turtle, or maybe even just plain kiasu. Nobody knows for now, as the official statistics are not out yet, but one thing for sure, people are on the edge. Now, if this sounds new to you and you have never heard about this mortgage deferment plan at all, drop me a PM uh, or a message in the comments uh, or even WhatsApp me. I can send you some numbers to get in touch directly with the relevant bank departments to assist you. But do take note, this is a mortgage deferment. What it means is that instead of making installment payments now to your banks, you delay until the situation actually gets better. How long is that? We don't know at this point of time. But this could mean higher installment amounts in the future because you are delaying your interest payment on your principal. So it's best to check with your banks how much this will actually affect you and use this only as the last resort. On the flip side, interest rates are low as well and banks are eager to lend to you during this time too. So if you own a private property, you may want to consider taking some equity out from your investment and wait for the right timing to enter the stock market or even use it for your own business. Of course, the announcement made by PM Lee is a bad sign for real estate agents like myself. We rely a lot on outdoor prospecting to get leads and 4 weeks is a very long time for us not to be actively prospecting. The spillover could mean that we could go without income for as long as a couple of months. And yes, we are not paid a basic income. Huh? Many of us really have to jack up huh? until the crisis is over. Coupled with marketing costs and fees to pay to our property portals, yes, I'm looking at you, property guru. This is actually a worrying time for all of us. But thankfully, there are some good news coming from my company. News that some of my fellow colleagues are still closing deals for their clients are being shared by CEO Mr. Ismail and our Executive Director Kelvin Fong. These are happening despite sellers and buyers not being able to physically view their properties. Now, how are they doing it? The answer, virtual viewings. Yes, it's already happening. We are now conducting virtual viewings to help our clients sell their home without even stepping out of the house. For resale homes, buyers get to see their sellers in their homes and in their element. They get to visualize what it's like to stay in their homes that they have shortlisted. New launches are also moving. Buyers no longer need to get caught up with glitzy show flats meant to appeal to you emotionally. They can now focus on facts and figures, the key USP of the projects. This virus has taught us that no matter what happens, agents who are creative still get things done. That's it for today's sharing session guys. If you enjoyed today's coffee session, uh, leave a like, share or subscribe to my page or even leave a comment down below 
if you feel that there are some topics that you would like me to address or even to speak about. Now, this is not a session whereby I teach you how to do things uh, as compared to other real estate agents who are doing their way of marketing on social media. For me, I feel that what I'm doing is bringing information to you in a bite-sized format. I hope that the sharing is actually useful to you. I'll end this off by saying, be home, be safe, take care, and God bless all of us. See ya. Thank you.